Breezy 101. Award-winning news. That's the sound of Kosciuszko firefighters early this morning battling a house fire that left one person dead. The fire broke out just before midnight on North Jackson Street, less than half a mile from the main station of the Kosciuszko Fire Department. By the time we pulled out the bay, you could see the flames coming up the top of the roof, rolled up to the fire and started attacking it from a couple of sides. We don't know the cause of the fire. We got the state fire marshal coming in today. We're going to take around and look at it and see what we can find out. That's Captain Jake Cummins. Atala County Coroner Sam Bell said a body found at the scene has been sent to the state crime lab to be identified. The house officer with the Kosciuszko Police Department is back on the force after a lengthy suspension. Kosciuszko Mayor Jimmy Cockroft says former investigator Greg Collins will be rejoining the force. Greg will be back May 31st or June 3rd, depending on what shift he goes on. He'll come back. He'll be, he won't be in investigations. He will be back on the street as a lieutenant. And I think the board and myself, we, we have done and we've acted and what we feel like is in the best interest of the city. Collins had been suspended since December when sexual battery charges were brought against him. A DeSoto County grand jury heard the case earlier this month and determined not to take it to trial. The Kosciuszko Whippet football team will wrap up its first week of practice today. The team took the field Monday ahead of the 2019 season. we got some things that we're going to have to work on and get better at this year. But last year was definitely not what we wanted. We were fairly young, but that's behind us now, and we're moving forward. It's head coach Kelly Causey. The Whippets are led by standout wide receiver Antonio Harmon. Earlier this year, he was ranked as the number one player in the state for the class of 2021. And we look for him to take more of a leadership role, even though he's just going to be a junior. We're expecting him to be a big leader for our team, but he can definitely play anywhere on the field, and we're expecting a lot of good things on both sides of the ball. The Whippets open the season Thursday, August 22nd, against Yazoo County. Steve Azar, Johnny Cash, and several others in the music industry are getting new markers on Mississippi's country music trail. Governor Phil Bryant and country music star Marty Stewart made the announcement in Philadelphia earlier this week. It gives uh, Mississippi an opportunity to stop and say, you know, I did not know that that country music star was either from here or had such a history in Mississippi. One of the new markers is for Marty Gamblin. The Philadelphia native has spent years in the country music industry managing stars such as Alan Jackson and Glenn Campbell. You always have the question, why me? But uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm honored and certainly appreciate, very appreciative of the fact that they recognize me. Yesterday, three Itala County public servants said farewell to their offices. It's just been a long time, but it's been very rewarding. It's a great experience for me, and I just hope that I can leave it in as good a shape as Charles England had it before I got here. That's Gary Taylor during his final meeting of the Itala County Board of Supervisors after serving 28 years as Chancery Clerk. A resolution was presented at the end of the meeting by Board Attorney Scott Pickle. It is my personal pleasure to offer this resolution of appreciation in favor of Chancery Clerk Gary Taylor for his 28 years of service. Taylor and District 2 Supervisor Charles Fancher announced earlier this year that they would not be running for re-election. District 4 Supervisor Kerry Ellington did run again, but was defeated in the August 27th Democratic primary. It's been a challenge, but it's also been a learning experience. Sometimes it wasn't comfortable, but I still enjoyed it. It wasn't a bowl of cherries in there every day, but that's what it takes to make a difference. I scream, you scream, we all scream for the ice cream truck. An old-fashioned ice cream truck can be seen making the rounds in Kosciuszko. Diane McAdams has been operating Dee Dee's Frozen Delights for about three weeks. The truck can often be seen and heard. Surrounded by kids at parks, apartment complexes, and neighborhoods. The truck has also visited the Itala County Nursing Home and the State Veterans Home. That's the Kosciuszko High School drum line leading the Veterans March yesterday at the Itala County Isle of Honor Ceremony. Over 100 United States flags adorned the driveway of Parkway Cemetery for the annual event. Veterans from every major U.S. conflict as far back as World War II attended the ceremony, which included the Pledge of Allegiance, patriotic songs, And a special address given by 5th District Circuit Court Judge and retired Brigadier General George Mitchell Jr. Remember the sacrifices that have been made for us to be able to enjoy an assemble and gather here this morning. The day ended with a flag retirement ceremony from the American Legion Riders. See video from the day at breezynews.com.
The work of Breck Riley, News Director, WLIN.